Good morning, everybody. This is Lawrence here. I just want to let you know that this is day five on uh, April the 19th, and so we will be on our way to Chateaubriand, and it's going to be a one hour and 50 minute ride. I think it's going to be about 33 kilometers, so it's going to be a very easy ride uh, today. And so I'm going to get packed up, and then I will fetch Bendy Capron, and then he and I we will go off riding. On, uh, on a long journey ahead. Okay, so we are on our way uh, leaving uh, Eindhoven. Well, we are leaving uh, the hotel actually, which is outside Eindhoven. And now, right now, Ben de Gabriel and I are riding along uh, the cycle path. We are about to enter the main city of Eindhoven, where there is a lot of cycle lanes. And the fun fact about the Netherlands, you see more bicycles than people. And uh, yeah, it has a population of over 16 million people, or 16.5 to be exact. And yet, uh, they are between 16 to 70 million uh, bicycles which are made. And uh, the oldest ever recorded uh, use of a bicycle in the Netherlands was in the 1890s, the oldest of which was the Gazelle Company in 1892. And so here we are, riding along the cycle lane on our way to the city of Eindhoven and then off to Schettenhombos. Okay, we're about to go under the bridge. First time I'm cycling in the Netherlands with so many cyclists like that. As I said before, there are more bicycles uh, than people, and yet that's why so many people are taking the bikes. Wow, it's crazy, but in a very good way. This is like a bicycle utopia right there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've never done this uh, before, but the thing is, uh, this is like, um, uh, number one on the list and Denmark in second place, uh, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to break because, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, gonna have to. Ooh. Okay, 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 we're good. Bicycle parking, yeah, we're about to go under the bridges and then I'm gonna have to turn the right in order for me uh, to uh, take the main road on, on my way to Best. Yep. There's a town called Best. Okay, we're about to take the bridge, and then we'll take the main street, and then take the main road uh, on the way to Best, and then to Buxtel, and then uh, Wooden, and then Sakabumbos. It's gonna be an easy ride as far as I checked on Google Map. And so, behind me, there's a stadium. Yeah, we just uh, went past the stadium. Okay, I'm about to go on a crossing with the other cyclists, or all my feet. Very Dutch. Okay, I'm uh, on the main street right now, you know, on the main uh, path. And so uh, we just uh, left this uh, very chaotic uh, traffic of our cyclists. Well, it's very faster than any uh, particular basic traffic uh, you see uh, across Europe and across the world and stuff like that. And now, yeah, we are about to leave Eindhoven, and so uh, this is yet again another epic time. Day five. Yeah, I think it's day five uh, for my trip for Flanders and the Netherlands. You know, cycling in Flanders and the Netherlands. Now I'm in the Netherlands, so I just say Netherlands. Just uh, left Eindhoven right now, and uh, along the road ahead uh, we'll be heading straight towards uh, Best. And then, by the time I reach Best, I will keep going straight, straight, straight until there is this uh, cycle lane, which will lead me to somewhere. Uh, where there is a 
second current uh, cycle on the slope uh, next to the motorway. And then I'll go straight ahead on my way to shut the hook. Welcome to Bast. Yep, we've just entered uh, Bast because, um, yeah, this is uh, just um, uh, the place where there's a supermarket and right ahead where the McDonald's is, this is where I'll be crossing the road to take another cycle path to carry on straight. Okay, we are on the other side of the road. Yeah, this is another uh, feet path, you know, just on the left hand side. Ah, so no, the Mercedes truck. And here's uh, the cyclists I've had uh, going the opposite direction. So, yeah, so far, it's been a very pleasant experience uh, when it comes to taking a bike like this, going on a cycle road like this. And here's the shadow of Bendigave, myself and uh, Bendigave run. And, uh, yeah, going through the row of trees. And then head, uh, we're going ahead to Buxtel, and then you know what. Going through the residential area, and then by the time we reach the dead end, it's telling me to go left, and then I'll go right under the bridge so that there is a cycle lane which will lead me to the cycle lane next to the motorway. This is it. This is it. This is the road uh, I'm talking about. Okay, that's the residential area. By the time we'll go past the residential area, we'll go along the motorway. Yes! Here we go! Here we go! This is exactly designed uh, for cyclists, for those who are not cycling. Well, because the Netherlands, yeah, as a Dutch friend of once told me that they're full of bike heads, like myself. I, I'm a bike head, and so, yeah, seems as if I might be one of them. For now, at least, or even eventually. We will see. It's this lane that's uh, on this lane for the bicycle lane, which is uh, the equivalent uh, to the motorway. This is no ordinary cycle lane because look here. You, get, you can see that there is a lamp post. Um, yeah, you can see there is a lamp post. There were trees about. So this is the highway for cyclists. Yeah, on the highway to Buxtel and the highway to Chetokombosh and where the wall is there is a motorway and, uh, and here you see there are a lot of motorists uh, you know petrol heads or electro heads uh, are like uh, you know it's part of the road infrastructure but this one this is absolutely perfect for those who are into cycling who would stay as a cyclist like myself Hey horsey, how you doing? Very nice. This is a motor this is a bicycle equivalent to a motorway as opposed to this one. It's very clever this part of the road infrastructure, especially when it comes to uh, uh, transportation. And now this one is telling me that I have to go left and then I'll go right to continue to cycle on the motorway. Here it comes, this is a tunnel like a, a highway for cyclists. This particular tunnel has uh, grass around it and this particular bridge is for the animals who want to cross the road safely without getting run over by cars. And here we are, we're about to go into the tunnel. Here we go. There should be more like this one, especially designed for cyclists. Very nice. And here's the piece of nature. Here we are. This is um, the cycle lane. We are back on the cycle lane. We just left the special motorway for cyclists next to the actual motorway. And look at this uh, house here. That's roof. Very nice. I really love it. I think it must have uh, some Frisian influence uh, to that. There is so much richness uh, to this area, especially in North Brabant, the province in the Netherlands. And so. We are heading towards Boxtel. We're 
something towards book style. Where um, there is this uh, very iconic um, amusement park, well, not quite uh, an amusement park, but more likely to be some sort of a special park or museum called something about dinosaurs and stuff like that. And if you see ahead, very soon you will find that there were sculptures of dinosaurs as well as tools. Because uh, right ahead, there is uh, a very special park where all the kids and family can go to. And so, yeah, we're gonna go past that and then heading towards Buch, uh, uh, Buch, yeah, Bucht and Schetterhombos. This roundabout has a triceratops. You see what I'm talking about? On that uh, roundabout, you see the sculpture of a dinosaur, which is a triceratops in the distance. And another type of dinosaurs called uh, the Brachiosaurus, the two of them are sculptures. And here's the dinosaur part where there is uh, the main statue, or let's say the main sculpture of a Tyrannosaurus Rex guarding the entrance, trying to look for prey and stuff like that. And yeah, you can see that there are a lot of dinosaurs in the park. But right now, we're leaving Boxtel, so bye bye dinosaurs, bye bye Boxtel. We are heading off to another town of uh, Bucht and then Schettelkombos.